Hi guys, it's Pacific Coast Reason and I'm back with a new video. So today I'm going to show you how to make a um, make a game pass button GUI on Roblox Studio. So we're going to create a new world, classic base plate, usually that's what I do. So here we are in a world. So we're going to start with uh, we're going to, we're going to start making the button. So you want to open a uh, a screen GUI, start GUI, press this plus button, then click screen GUI. And then after that, you want to choose Screen GUI, add another plus, and put text button. You're, you can drag the text button wherever you want. Um, and you can scale it to what you want. We'll just do that size. And then we'll customize this. You don't have to do this at all. But um, this is how you customize it. Let's just do by product. Alright, we're going to scale this. So we have our button right here. And now you're going to insert a local script. So before we do anything, um, th 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 I just want to clarify that if you need any help, just make sure to go inside the comments and comment down uh, if you, what you need help for. Alright, so let's start scripting. We're going to start with uh, local MPS. This, these are variables. Variables basically represent things in the future of the script. This is uh, this is just getting a service in Roblox, which means to clarify that this variable will clarify that that you want to um, make somebody purchase the thing. We're gonna do local player. That that just references the player inside the script. You can only do this inside local scripts. So this is usually for GUIs. And then, and th and then you want to paste in your ID. We're going to publish the game. All right, so we're going to do that. Just the tutorial, that's all. Alright, and then you're going to, just because you need to create a, a product, you have to do that. So you want to go to the monetization tab in game settings. Or if you want to make a game pass, you have to go back to, uh, you have to go back to your browser. And then scroll down to the store section of your game. And you want to click create game pass. There should be tutorials on how to do that. So you want to do now is scroll down to developer products. And then you want to create a product. Let's name it Donate Example. And we're going to make it 10 Robux. Alright, um, so you want to do now is just click that copy ID. You just want to c copy the product ID. It can be inside the, the Chrome browser or anything. You, you should be able to find that somewhere else. Alright, so we're going to paste in that ID right there. And then that, that just references ID. So now we're going to start scripting. Alright, script.parent.mouse put in one click, that's referencing the, um, the mouse click, we're going to do function, and we're going to skip a line, and then we're going to type uh, mps, that's marketplace service, Prompt product purchase. So over here you see prompt po product purchase or prompt game pass purchase. If you have a game pass, you want to paste in the game pass ID right there. But if you have a, a developer product, you want to paste the product ID. In this case, we're doing the product ID, so it can be bought over and over again. All right, but by the same person. So we're going to to do player ID. There, it's that simple. All right. Oh, let me also add a note here. So when you when you press play, it's gonna apply the edits. We're going to click the buy product, and then boom, it's going to ask, "Would you like to buy this?" It's a test purchase, so yeah. And then you buy it. Boom, you bought it. Congratulations. 
there should be other ways to code um to code like the game pass so it does something but that's literally just how, how you can buy it so there we go Th thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to go into the comments to if you have any questions and goodbye